know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do not fully understand it. Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. Cannot hide your weakness from me. You have no power here, Kena. The old ones perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. In their place came new life. Secret I won't unlock. No barrier I won't cross. This mission is mine alone. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming.
You all right back there? No way. It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to... Get to... Right. The ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I have it in my sight. They have found us, Ratchet. How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please. That's not listening. The dimensions are weakening considerably. How bad is it? Well, it is certainly not good. Great! Where are we? Beats me. Ratchet, we are too late. Ratchet? Who? Magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. That common bond we share is the legacy of Hogwarts. Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed halls and, quite possibly, shape the future of the wizarding world. Every corridor, every portrait, every stone in this castle tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells, there is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. That strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? The journey ahead will reveal what you stand for. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts.
I relive my first moments on this alien planet. The crash. The attack. My death. The crash. The attack. My death. Trapped in this endless cycle. Even death is no escape. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different. As if changing. This world is becoming part of me. Infecting my mind. My memories. The longer I spend here, the more I can feel my sanity slip away. But I cannot lose hope. My only choice is to keep fighting. To keep looking for answers. My only hope is to break the cycle. Before the cycle breaks me.
I came to Enoch as our last chance, a chance at a new home. But what we found didn't save humanity. It consumed it. We awoke changed. The anomaly unleashed within us, burning with power. Impossible power. robs us of our humanity, yet gives us so much more. Each step taking us further from what we were, and closer to what we must become. It's always gonna end like this. All your hard work, all your sacrifice, only sped up the process. Do you ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? To do that thing you've always meant to do. 
Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. things others can't. Hear threats others don't. Fight when others won't. It's up to you to save Tokyo. know the target, Shiva's dominant, and only the dominant. How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders, we follow them. Sergeant, they've summoned their icon. Icon? That thing's a bloody mountain. Our foe will not relinquish their mother crystal easily. This will be a bitter fight. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? 
Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. Imperial Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? It's the Archduke's son. Phoenix. Yeah! It's beautiful, Migo. Perfect, but useless. I have something for you, Diego. Give me your hands. Papa. Now, I... the grenade is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. What are you doing? Breathe, Diego. Breathe. The pin simply holds the handle in place. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes boom. Follow me. Now. I am El Presidente, which means that someday you will be El Presidente. And our people, they do not know how to be happy. They are torn apart by opinions, noise, indecision, strangled by their own freedoms. And even if you have love in your heart, even if you want what's best for them, if you only want to save them from themselves, They will hate you, Diego. Everything you say, do, believe, will be wrong. <laughs> they will answer you with screams. Call you evil, a monster, and give you this. So you tell me, are you evil? Are you a monster? Because our country it's like this grenade, except it has two basic parts. 
our people. And you, and you must clutch them nice and tight, or we all go boom. Morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Our time loops fun. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how I try to escape, they always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. Every loop, I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets, and they all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake, Black Reef's protector and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. I like watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. 